What's up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to my channel. As I progress in my real estate investor journey, I have been getting this question so much. Should I get my real estate license? Well, depending on who you are, the answer to this question could be yes, or it could be no. If this is your first time to my channel, what's up? My name is Jeremy Mateo. I am a real estate broker and investor here in Hawaii. I have been a real estate agent since I was 19 years old in 2014. And this year is actually my first year I started flipping houses as an investor. In this video, I'm going to talk about if you should or shouldn't get your real estate license. But before we start this video, all I ask is that you please smash the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And while you're at it, go ahead and follow me on all my other social media platforms. And by doing that, I will show you guys a video of me trying out my new electric drum kit that I just bought spontaneously during Black Friday. Wow. Did you press the like button? All right, here we go. All right, there you have it. If you wanna see more content of cool and random stuff like that, go ahead and definitely follow me on my Instagram. I post a bunch of cool random stuff all the time. All right, so some people have been asking me, Jeremy, should I get my real estate license? That is the question that I've been getting a lot. And I think it's a complicated question because the answer to that could be different for you depending on who you are. If you've never really had real estate investing on your mind or on your radar, and you never really thought about it, and you just want to get into real estate as an agent because you always wanted to do that, or maybe because you love sales and you love people and networking, then the answer is of course, yes, go ahead and get your real estate license and become a real estate agent. If we go back to 2014, I just got licensed as a real estate agent because my mother was actually a real estate agent and she got licensed back in 2003. As a child, I watched her see so much success as a real estate agent and I thought, hey, you know, that looks really fun and uh, it makes a lot of money. And I'm willing to bet that in the last two years that that's exactly what a lot of people were also thinking because in this article written by CNN, it states that because of the recent real estate boom in the last two years, lots of people have been racing towards the real estate industry and getting their real estate license. And when I think about that, it, you know, it kind of makes sense because if I'm seeing a lot of people, you know, making a lot of money in this industry, I'm going to try to get in that industry or at least think about getting in that industry. However, what a lot of these new real estate agents didn't know is that selling homes and making a lot of money as a real estate agent is a lot harder than they think. I had the same wake up call when I first started. You know, when I was still in college, when I got licensed at 19 years old, I had intentions to make $100,000 and drop out of college. Then reality slapped me in my face and I realized, holy crap, being an agent is hard. Like, it, it's really hard. It wasn't until like five years later in 2019 that I actually hit six figures for the first time after selling 17 homes in that year. So whenever people ask me about becoming a real estate agent, I always say yes, you should do it because I love the industry and I loved being an agent but just be prepared to work extremely hard and not see results right away. And while we're on the subject of being a real estate agent, I do have to give myself a shameless plug and let you know that if you're interested in becoming a real estate agent, you should check out my Real Estate Rockstar Academy course. Wow. I created this online course to help new and aspiring agents build their brand and their real estate business. It goes over everything you need to know from A through Z in order to kickstart your career. Everything about which companies to interview with, you know, how to prospect, how to leverage social media, you know, and most of all, the most important thing about being Asian is working by referral, which was the biggest key to my success as a real estate agent. If wow. you're interested in purchasing that course, I'll put a link to the course in the description below. I promise you that it is jam packed with a ton of value. All right, so now let's talk about getting licensed if you want to become a real estate investor. So should you get your license? You know, as a real estate investor, this means if you want to flip homes, if you want to buy rental properties and maybe even wholesale properties. First off, right off the bat, if you want to just 
wholesale, like not flip, not buy rental properties. You just want to wholesale, then do not, do not, do not get your real estate license. What wholesaling is, there's a bunch of videos on YouTube, but to explain it really quick is just getting properties under contract. After getting that contract, you sell that contract to the flipper. In no situation are you actually buying the home. If anything, you are just doing a lot of marketing. You're doing a lot of marketing to find a home, then you write a piece of paper and say, hey, I'm gonna buy the home. And then after that, you write another piece of paper and say, hey, I'm assigning this contract to blah, 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 LLC. That's pretty much it. And to find that flipper, you probably do more marketing. So being a wholesaler is literally just marketing. To do all of that marketing takes a lot of marketing funds. And if you're limited on cash, then getting your license is going to hurt you because what most people don't know is that getting your real estate license comes with a lot of startup fees. These startup fees consist of pre-licensing schooling, the exam fees, paying national association dues, paying local association dues, licensing fees, and if you join a brokerage, there could be, you know, like monthly desk fees. Uh, what else? You know, on top of that, you have to pay renewal fees every year to renew your license. All of these fees, I would say, would probably add up to around $2,000 from the start. That is why I say if you are just going to wholesale, do not get your real estate license. So with that being said, if you are a real estate investor, you have to think, you know, will these fees of getting a real estate license be worth it? In my opinion, it really all comes down to this. Are you going to be using your license to actually work as a real estate agent? If you're getting your license just purely to have access to MLS, then I would say no, do not get your real estate license. It is not worth all the fees and all the renewals and all the continuing education because you can easily connect with a realtor to help you get access to MLS. Now, if you wanna get into real estate investing while also helping clients, which by the way, is a really great way to have another stream of income once you build your agent business, then getting your real estate license is definitely worth it and makes sense. Wow. Because then when you have your real estate license, when you go to buy deals, you can get two to 3% commission and you can also save two to 3% commission when you sell properties that you're flipping. Now you can see that there are different pros and cons to having your license versus not having your license. So you have to just look at your situation and analyze what you want to do and see what is best for you as you begin your real estate investor journey. In my first year as a real estate investor, which is this year, 2021, I completed two flips, which made me over $150,000 in personal profit. I also have two more on the way at the time of making this video, possibly a third, and all three of these could potentially make me over half a million dollars, which I will talk about in future videos. But I will say that, you know, the reason why I have all of this success so quick in my first year of real estate investing is because I have six to seven years of real estate experience as an agent. Wow. Having that experience, honestly, I believe played a big role into my success. The reason is because I was already familiar with the market, you know, I was familiar and I knew how to negotiate. I was familiar with the industry and I was really good at finding really good deals. So what I did was I just took the work ethic of being an agent and applied it to being an investor. So ultimately, if you are an aspiring investor, you do not need your license, but in my opinion, it'll definitely help you. Now for those watching, you might be thinking, Jeremy, since you are making way more money and doing way less work as an investor, are you going to go full-time investor and get rid of your real estate license? Well, the answer to that is no. Yes, I will be going full-time investor, but I will not be getting rid of my real estate license. I wanna keep it because one, you know, I will have access to MLS and I enjoy the luxury of being able to search and find properties anytime I want whenever a deal comes up, which by the way, I'm really quick with using MLS. Wow. Humble brag right there. And two is because if you didn't know, I do have a real estate team under me. I have two agents and they're my really good friends and they just got into the industry recently. So I feel like that, you know, whenever I have a client, you know, and I can focus on real estate investing, they can come on board and help me. So altogether, it's a win-win situation because they help me 
I get to, you know, free up some of my time. And at the same time, they get to learn about the business and they get experience as well. Wow. And the cool thing is by having my license, if close friends or family want to buy or sell a home, I can help them. And also, whenever I want to buy a home, I could potentially get two to three percent commission. And I can also save two to three percent commission when I go to list my flip. So there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are an aspiring realtor, go ahead and get your license. Enter the world of real estate because it's super awesome. Real estate opened my eyes to a lot of different things, to a lot of different people, and overall love the industry altogether. Definitely check out my Real Estate Rockstar Academy. I'll put a link to that course in the description below. And after being an agent for a couple of years, if you want to become an investor later down the road, which I really definitely recommend that you should, then when you get to that point, you'll have a bunch of real estate experience that'll help you. If you just wanna become a real estate investor, you know, again, you don't need your real estate license, but it'll definitely help you. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you next time.